stuffed up again, didn't he? I, uh, what is it with that guy? I told him not to jerk Big you Big promotion. He had to leave pretty suddenly. What? Did you know about this? No. What's this about? Uh, the school's kitchen garden program. We're going to need permanent volunteers. The kids obviously like it. You think? Come on, you'd be perfect. What do you say? Can I think about it? Of course, yeah. With the school and the kids, what if it raises questions about my record? You will need a working with children check. Yes, yeah, that's why I didn't want to go there. But the check won't be a problem. You love gardening, you love working with kids. It's perfect. I'm here to reiterate the importance of keeping quiet about Detective Brennan. His safety depends on it. You do realise that? I'd never do anything to put Mark in danger. That includes your sister. No, she doesn't know anything. Good. This is your fault. I realise this is But Mark is a dedicated everything to the police. And what did you do for him, hmm? Nothing. I'm not going to discuss if what If you I... had done your job half as much as he'd done his, he'd probably still be here. You have to talk to Kate. Mark's gone and she's really upset. Where's he gone? Dunno. I thought those two weren't that close anyway. Look, please. She won't talk to me. Why did he go? He got a job promotion. Only had to leave straight away? Yes. Is he coming back? I don't know, Paul. What's with all the questions? Has this got anything to do with the corruption investigation? I said leave it, Paul. All right, all right. I'm just trying to help. I mean, if there's anything that I can do, make some calls. No, there's nothing you or anyone else can do. You're a real natural at this. No. Mm, that and supplying coffee when it's needed. Yeah. <laughs> now all you need to do is agree to take the volunteer gig. Well, I've been thinking about it. Mm, I'll take it. Great. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're going to get a real kick out of this and you get to be a part of it. Oh, no pressure. Yeah, you'll be right. Once you're working with children, check comes through, then we can organise a roster. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't think you were the right person. Thank you. I'm going to have to cancel Thomas' sleepover. Oh, really? That's a shame. Callum's going to be so disappointed. Well, we can, we can make it another night. No, 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 I don't think that's going to be possible. Is there, is there something wrong? You seem like nice people. It's just that I, I've asked around and... Uh, I know about your... past. Look, we owe it to Callum to make his life as, as happy and secure as possible. And we do that already. Yeah, but we could do more. We could make sure that when people look at us, they see a solid and a respectable family. I think maybe we should get married. We're practically married anyway. And if you're doing it for Cathy, I mean, it's not going to make any difference to her. But what about all the other parents out there? I mean, it's just a piece of paper. And it will go a long way to making all of our lives a lot more stable. I love you so much. You know I love you. Yeah. And I love what we have. You, me and Callum. Yeah, me too. But like you said, it's just a piece of paper. So what's the problem? <laughs> you don't want to marry me? We don't need to get married. It's not going to change a thing. I, I'm really happy with what we have. I thought you were too. I am. I... Wouldn't have suggested it otherwise. Even if marriage was something that I did want to do, I mean, this isn't the right reason to do it. Well, it's not the only reason. If, everything would just be easier if we got married. You guys are getting married? 